The Center for a New American Security was founded five years ago to promote strong, principled, pragmatic defense and national security policies for the United States of America. As Nate mentioned this morning, a critical component of that mission is inspiring and educating the next generation of national security leaders. Just weeks before the first CNAS annual conference, in May of 2007, an outstanding representative of that next generation, First Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr., was killed in action in Saladin Province, Iraq. Andrew was the son of Professor Andrew Basevich, a retired Army officer who now teaches at Boston University and who we are honored to have with us here today. The Basevich family graciously allowed CNAS to establish a fellowship in Lieutenant Basevich's memory. The Basevich Fellowship is awarded annually to that member of the CNAS family whose quality of performance, determination to excel, and dedication to public service best honor the memory of Lieutenant Basevich. The first Basevich Fellow was Sean Brimley, who is with us today. Sean, a one-time Canadian infantry officer, now serves on the National Security Council as Director of Strategic Planning after previous service to the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy, CNAS co-founder, Michelle Flournoy. The second Basevich Fellow, Nirav Patel, is also with us today. Nirav now serves as Senior Advisor to the Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, Dr. Kurt Campbell, our other co-founder. The third, Christine Parthamore, is not with us today. Christine is traveling in Asia conducting research on the intersection of resource depletion and international security in the South China Sea. Christine has directed our work on natural security over the course of the past year, and we're proud today to release her paper on critical minerals as elements of security. The fourth, Be the fourth Basevich Fellow was Brian Burton, who is here with us. Like Nirav, Brian served as an intern research assistant, and research associate before being selected as the Basevich Fellow. Brian has authored or co-authored a number of CNAS reports and working papers, including major studies on the future of the U.S. relationship with Iraq and the future of officership given the kinds of conflicts we are fighting today. And today, I'm pleased to announce that the fifth Basevich Fellow is Travis Sharp. Travis is one of the most talented defense analysts of his generation. He came to us from the Center for Arms Control and Nonproliferation, where he was a Herbert Scoville Jr. Peace Fellow. Travis is a graduate of the University of San Francisco, where he played goalie on the varsity soccer team and studied politics and history. He has been accepted to Princeton University's Woodrow Wilson School and has deferred his tenure there in order to accept this fellowship. Travis already had a distinguished publishing record when he came to us at CNAS with articles in Parameters, The Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, and Defense News. Since he joined us, Travis has done excellent work on a comprehensive study of the role of the National Guard and Reserves titled The Indispensable Force, a version of which was also published as a cover story in Joint Force Quarterly, demonstrating a fluency across a wide variety of security challenges. Travis co-edited the two-volume study of cyber threats that was the basis of our last panel, America's Cyber Future, Security and Prosperity in the Information Age. Travis has a sterling record of intellectual curiosity, analytical excellence, and vigorous commitment to public service that well qualify him for this signal honor. So in this 10th year of war for our nation, and in memory of all of those who have fallen under America's flag, I respectfully request that you all please stand. In enduring recognition of Lieutenant Andrew Basevich's exceptional commitment to the service of our nation, it is my honor to congratulate Travis Sharp, the first Lieutenant Andrew Basevich Jr. Fellow for 2011.